Did you know that for a century, the Panama Canal has been a vital force in global trade? It's been the ultimate route for transporting goods between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. But guess what? Change might be on the horizon. Mexico is on the brink of unveiling its latest endeavor, the Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? But what exactly is this project, and could it potentially outshine the Panama Canal? The Panama Canal. Before we dive into Mexico's new project, let's talk about the Panama Canal. Along with the Suez Canal, it's one of the most famous man-made waterways in the world. The Panama Canal cuts through a narrow strip of land called an isthmus, which connects North America to South America. This isthmus is 65 kilometers wide, and the canal itself is about the same length. Before the canal was built in 1914, ships faced a tough journey if they wanted to cross from one side to the other. For example, a ship traveling from Europe to California had to sail all the way south to Chile, navigate through the stormy Strait of Magellan, and then sail north again. This journey took months and was dangerous due to storms and strong currents. The United States decided to build the Panama Canal to make this journey much shorter and safer. It took about a decade to build and cost a staggering amount of money. Workers faced extreme heat and difficult conditions, and many lost their lives during construction. The Panama Canal has since become a vital route for global trade, saving ships a significant amount of time and distance. Nowadays, over 10,000 ships use the canal every year, paying the toll for its use. But in 2024, it might face competition from a new project in Mexico. And that's what we'll explore next. The Tren Interoceanico, the Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, or CIT for short, might sound like a mouthful, but it's essentially a big project in Mexico. To understand where it came from, let's go back to the late 1800s, when Jose de la Cruz Porfirio Diaz Mori, also known as Porfirio Diaz, became Mexico's president. He wanted to connect Oaxaca, where he was from, to the coast of Veracruz in the north with a railway. This railway, called the Tren Interoceanico, opened in 1907, seven years before the Panama Canal. Initially, the railway was a success, moving tons of cargo and boosting Mexico's economy. But when the Panama Canal opened, shipping companies preferred it over the railway. Despite the railway being faster and closer to America, factors like American shipping companies' preferences and civil unrest in Mexico led to its decline. Eventually, it fell into disrepair and remained unused for a hundred years until Mexico's new president, Lopes Obrador, came into power. Mexico's new rail line. In 2018, President Lopes Obrador decided to revamp Mexico's old railway and create a new path between the Atlantic and the Pacific. This new project was meant to rival the Panama Canal. A few months later, they officially announced the project, detailing plans for three main railway lines, Line Z, Line FA, and Line K. Nobody seems to know what these letters stand for, though. Construction started in June 2020, with workers clearing vegetation, removing old tracks, and putting down new ones. Once finished, the new railway, spanning over 1,000 kilometers with those three lines, will be quite impressive. The government also plans to build industrial parks along the route. President Lopes Obrador took bold steps to ensure the project's success even sending the army to seize a section of the railway owned by a private company. There have been clashes with protesters, especially from indigenous communities concerned about the project's environmental impact. Despite the controversies, many believe the benefits of the project will outweigh the negatives. It's estimated to create jobs for half a million locals and attract billions in investment. President Lopes Obrador hopes this economic boost will transform the country. Line Z was completed in August 2023 and Lopes Obrador himself rode a train along the route the following month. The journey was quicker than crossing the Panama Canal. Passenger trains started operating from the Atlantic to the Pacific in December 2023, with the other lines expected to finish by the end of 2024. However, there's still work to be done before the railway can be used for international shipping. The ports at both ends of the railway are being upgraded, including the construction of a massive breakwater at the port of Salina Cruz to protect ships from storms. As the project nears completion, the question arises, what impact will it have on international trade? What happens to the Panama Canal? What's next for the Panama Canal? Before we talk about that, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy our videos, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get back to the topic.
Some experts believe that Mexico's new railway, the CIT, could become a faster and cheaper option compared to the Panama Canal. If this happens, companies might switch their shipping routes to Mexico instead of Panama. This could potentially impact the Panama Canal's business, just like how it affected the original Mexican railway a century ago. However, the CIT was not built to replace the Panama Canal. People involved in the project have stated that it will complement the canal instead. The Panama Canal is already handling a large number of cargo containers each year, but it's struggling to keep up with increasing demand, especially after facing water shortages in 2023. Limiting the number of ships allowed to pass through caused chaos and delays. The CIT could ease some of this pressure by providing an alternative route when the Panama Canal is busy. This would make shipping more reliable and could prevent delivery disruptions like those experienced before Christmas due to water shortages. Collaboration between the Panama Canal and the CIT could boost global trade, allowing more goods to move between the Atlantic and the Pacific. However, the CIT might face competition of its own in the future. There have been attempts to build alternative routes, such as a canal in Nicaragua and the potential opening of the Northwest Passage due to global warming. In summary, significant changes are on the horizon for trade between the Pacific and the Atlantic. What are your thoughts on Mexico's latest mega project? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.